All right, I honestly don't know how well or poorly this is gonna go, because again, he has two steel types. He has a pirate ship steering wheel. Sort of. Oh, the, the badge thing. This guy just looks like he's the director of some mathematics foundation. Probably based off the director of Game Freak. Derogatorily. <laughs> oh shit, an actual electric type this, this is one of those games that has, like, developer Man. rants hidden inside of it. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, you can learn rest, by the way. I think everyone can learn rest. That makes sense. I think that's, that is one of the few universal TMs, aside from Pokemon, that can't learn TMs. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Watson. If you're born and you're given an elemental-based name, are you just, like, fucked? <laughs> is that his first name or his last name? I assume first name, but I guess because it's Japanese, it could be either way. Is it only like a 10% chance? Fuck you. You know, on the subject of trainers using items, I wonder how many trainers use full heals or like status clearing items. Because usually they'll just use potions or full restores. But Brock from Gen 1, as in the first gym leader Brock, is the only trainer I know that has full heals and he has fucking 10 of them. <laughs> Don't Five for each of his Pokemon. Isn't that possible for people to have infinite stuff? No, and, and trainers actually do have finite, finite items. Just feels infinite? Yeah, yeah, basically. But there's like AI to prevent them from using them all on the same Pokemon unless it's their last Pokemon. So if you're one-shotting everything and then you get to their last strongest Pokemon, then you can get like fucked up that way. Trainers were always like... They have some semblance of intelligence, like they don't just do random stuff. Whereas wild Pokemon literally just do random stuff. Yeah. But they made it so a bunch of trainers in Omega Ruby, at least early game, they made it so a bunch of trainers are, ju they do just have no AI, they just do completely random things. That is most Pokemon games, I would say. Wild Pokemon and most generic trainers just have a 25% chance of doing whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Did Gen 2 make AI any better? Yeah, in that um in that one video where a guy like scientifically ranks the like has every single trainer fight against each other, there's a bunch of different kinds of trainers, and like most of them are gym leader specific AI routines. So there, but none of them, as far as I know, will do stuff like use a status move because it's super effective. No. Why do status moves have types anyway? For flair. That's the only reason I can assume. It can also come in into account where like sand attack is ground so it doesn't hit flying types. Oh. I think that's how it works. I don't think it works that way for Confuse Ray, because that move is Ghost, but I'm pretty sure it can hit normal types. Why do the dedicated double battle trainers always only have one Pokemon each? Oh, look at this guy's legs. <laughs> Feet, I guess. Literally two pixels. Why does this guy's head look like an onion? And why is that not part of his name? No. What is with that? Like, you think he'd be called Onion Fighter or some shit? <laughs> onion. That'd be such an out of place name. They should call him something like Onision for Onision. copyright purposes. Anyway, do you know you can do this? Oh, cut the grass, yeah. Yeah. I showed that to Nayumi in Gen 1, and she was surprised. But in this game, it, like, in Gen 1, it leaves behind a unique tile. Not in this game. Can you cut tall grass? Or does it just become normal grass? <laughs> Good question. I wonder if the horns are so prominent in this game's music because with the... Uh, like in Pokemon Stadium and the music in the anime, it's all like orchestral. And through the GBA's stuff, the closest analog was just horns forever. Why did that person just call me to say, hey, I just lost a battle? 
I thought that they got rid of the inane conversations in after Gen 2. It's like a Crystal Chronicles mail. <laughs> you're, supposed to, you're supposed to say either you suck or nothing. Or Lamau. And then send them an ABC gum. <laughs> Hiker Mike. From Mars. <laughs> that game was... That's a SNES game, right? Was it a game? I thought it was like a TV show. Oh yeah, it was based on a show with a game... Oh. Has surprisingly good sprite work. Well, so does Plock, so... Does it? I... Does it? Does it? <laughs> you put me on the spot here. I don't think Plock is visually very spectacular. So look at the Mode 7 and the way his arms move. Was Plock just yet another attempt at, like, a mascot? Profitable mascot? Or is it just something completely random? I'm sh I mean, with how many fucking things like that there are on the SNES, I'm sure it was just another failed mascot character. Because I remember seeing a clip out of a magazine from a long time ago where it was like, three new installments for the Super Nintendo. And it made it seem like Plock was like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> three new Plock games coming it showed right like, to your system. It was like Plock in the middle and like Jimmy and Bimmy. Oh shit, it's Bug Maniac Derek. That's me, actually. How's that? Because I'm a bug maniac, because I'm using a bug. I do like how Plock is front and center, when it's probably the worst out of <laughs> three games. Isn't Plock one of those games where, like, the Japanese cover is all cute? Maybe. If it even came out in Japan, they probably refused it. <laughs> Wait, that, that guy's name is Bug Maniac Derek, and his two Pokemon were a Beautifly and a Dustox. That's actually how I played the game the last time I did this. <laughs> Butterfree only challenge, so I'm really surprised that I don't remember that. That electricity looks like it's just drawn in like Game Maker Sprite Editor. <laughs> it's like the, the up and down ones have like two different sprites, but these ones it's just like the same purple line it's vibrating just like, up and just down. It looks like it's from Undertale. <laughs> That's an insult to Pokemon. You know, people do say that like Undertale isn't that great visually, and I wouldn't necessarily disagree. Sporadic. Yeah, it's like, like all the boss and enemy sprites are really good, but everything being like very crudely drawn on the overworld, at first it struck me as kind of like being a joke. Like, oh, you think this game's gonna be shitty, but then it's like you get into a battle and now the game looks good. But it's still like that in Deltarune, so I don't know if it's actually a joke or not. Huggy Wuggy just fell off a TV. Who? That blue, long art, long limbed thing from Poppy's Playtime. Why do you have that? <laughs> we got a bunch of shit for a Christmas party last Christmas. We got it for like I think literally a dollar, <laughs> and uh. We, it was like Adam had this a game where it's like you wrap a bunch of stuff in a big uh, saran wrap ball. We should do that again. And this was one of the things, I think, and we got it. I do like Manectric's design. Luxray continued the trend in Gen 4 of cool designed electric type that is really fucking bad. By the way, when I was on, when I was streaming Sunshine recently, I officially cracked the code on how to beat Gooper Blooper. Is there a code? Because well, like gonna do it. God damn it. Ripping off the tentacles is for schmucks. <laughs> Literally all you do is you spray its face and it goes like blah, 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 and then it just goes to do a really long attack animation and then you just kill it. Butterfree doesn't even have any like buffing moves. So it's not like I can just put people to sleep and then buff myself. That doesn't happen until gen five or six or something. Or I get quiver dance, which is one of the best buffing moves out there. Quiver dance? Yeah, I think it raises uh, special attack, special defense, and speed. It's at least special attack and speed. I forget what the third stat is exactly. Why are so many dances? I don't know, but Lilligan can learn all of them. Really? That's her thing. She can even learn sword dance, even though she gets nothing out of it. Teeter dance. What's that? Uh, doesn't that confuse yourself? I think it... I think it's just a confusion move. It's just like Confuse Ray, but from normal types. 
Lose yourself. Bonk! <laughs> Confuse yourself. It's a yes song. Is it good? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> as much as I hate the distinct 80s synthesizer sound, I actually do think... The song this fucking I'm thing referencing is good. Has never hit itself in confusion. Come on. Hit yourself, you piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yeah. Can you crit yourself? No, unfortunately. Alright. God damn it. I'm literally like seven or eight levels ahead. Grinding is like gonna take forever. Do I learn Psybeam soon? Um. If I learned it at like level 34, then I might grind for that. You learn Psybeam next level. Wow. Actually. <laughs> then Safeguard at 40. Then Silverwind at 47, and that's it. What does Safeguard even do? That's one of those moves that's been around since Gen 1 or 2, but I've never bothered to learn what it does. Prevents the user and its allies from being inflicted with non-volatile status conditions and confusion for five turns. So it makes you immune to all the basic statuses? Prevents a Pokemon from being drowsy by yawn. Also. This fucking thing never gets confused. Yo. Hit yourself, you stupid fuck. Hit yourself. All right, fuck. Man, they wrote descriptions for all these people. Huh. We like a different. We like the same Pokemon, but different desserts. I want to <laughs> believe that's a Mario Twins reference, but I know it's not. Mario Twins? What do you mean? They are so much the same. They are like the same person. If you ask one, if if one likes ice cream, both of them say yes. No, no I'll just link it. Hold on. <laughs> Since I know that's insane out of context. I also want you to know this video was referenced in the official Wii America's Next Top Model game. So this is like a legendary Flash then? It was referenced in a Wii game? Yeah, it was, I mean the Wii, that Wii America's Next Top Model game is just like, even the developers knew it was gonna be shit. That game also has the, um, you know, the Sonic 06, like, head to wave ocean. Head to the wave ocean. That happens in that game. Oh. <laughs> I think it happens twice actually, because one of the times it's like that, where the guy where the person just like reads the line wrong and then reads it again. And then another time the line is started with the voice actor saying what line they're going to say to like the studio. It's like, okay, I'm recording line 79. <laughs> Or whatever they say. There's also a part, because you, you can just talk to the NPCs and they give inane dialogue. And sometimes they'll say like, how come you don't have a floating icon over your head? <laughs> how do you know all this about this game? Because I watched Proton John and Lucagen play it a long ass time ago. Oh. That playthrough is great, and I recommend it because that game is bad, but also has the occasional bout of something really interesting happening. Interesting for the wrong reasons, it seems. Uh, mostly, yes, but also sometimes the story is, like, insane. <laughs> Why did they play it? Hell of a... I mean, it was on Luka Jin's channel. I don't know, maybe maybe it's a thing that she just plays shovelware sometimes. They make a weird ass joke. Like some of the generic NPC dialogue is one of the characters being like, I mean, this is an example because I don't remember the actual name of the program, but he's like, he says he was using Blender, but he doesn't have a Blender, so I don't know what he was talking about. Okay. It's like they, they made some kind of weird reference to a 3D modeling program that the target audience of 10 year old girls would not possibly understand. Why does YouTube recommend my own videos to me? It does? Yeah, if I- you're not I, logged I, on my account still. I'm not. I- I- when I- I'm on the Mario Twins page right now and one of the videos recommended is the thing I uploaded like a few hours ago. Whoa. Same background <laughs> but different, uh... Different thing. If this paralyzes me, I swear to fucking god. Why? I don't even know what I want to say, I'm so pissed. 
Just fuck you. Just fuck you. Look up the paralysis chance of Spark and l let me be mad more. Give me like, okay, I'll do it right now. 30%. Ugh. Three successful one in three chances in a row. Maybe he has compound dies three times or something. Compound. <laughs> three times. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm so mad and annoyed and also mad. You could use glitches and hacks. Well, that's a good idea. He's raising his attack for what? You're just gonna use fucking spark wave or whatever. That's a special move, idiot. This isn't fair. I should be you playing on to... a version of Emerald where the trainers don't use items. You just have to grind out all their items. Yeah, pretty much. That's no fun. It's a bit annoying, yes. Uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, Butterfree's typing makes it have a lot of weaknesses. Is that part of why you're doing this? Kind of. I mean, really, it's not like Butterfree's the hardest Pokemon to do a solo <laughs> challenge with. Not by any stretch. It's just that it was the... Oh yeah, it's muted. It's supersonic. It's just that this was the first, like, Pokemon I ever tried to do a challenge with when I was a kid. So it's just like... Might as well see if it's how Butterfree oh. evolves over the course of the series. Yeah, it's funny. Doing this is what we're doing, but playing the new Pokemon game at all was probably never even entertained as an option. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm only doing this up to Gen 5. Remember a long time ago you told me that... It might be worth it to play for me to play Gen 6 just because the story is so stupid. I mean, I could just, like, give you the overview of what's stupid about it, if you want. Yeah, sure, because the last time you did this was eight years ago. <laughs> the story generally, like, in the present day, is that Team Flair is just, like, trying to take over the world, because the, the antagonist is just one of those guys who's like, I need... The, the world is is not beautiful. I'm going to take over it to make it beautiful. And also the leader of Team Flare is the guy who has the... Who, like, he's so obviously the leader of Team Flare, even though he's like a, a good guy, ostensibly for the first three quarters of the story. It's so obvious that I honestly can't tell if it's supposed to be a joke or not. <laughs> like, he has bright red hair that looks like fire, and he's talking about like, Oh, Pokemon are so beautiful and people are so shitty. So the reveal is like, oh my god, he's evil, wow. So it turns out he's like, Team Flare is imprisoning this guy named capital A, capital Z. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce it. <laughs> oh shit, uh, Sleep Powder Mist. That's a 3% chance. He's, for some reason, been alive for hundreds of years because he was alive during the Great Pokemon War that happened like several centuries ago. And he had a Flaby? I don't know, it's some weird like little flower fairy type Pokemon that was introduced in that game. And, uh... Can you fucking hit with Supersonic, please? So then there's like this whole thing, like AZ is literally introduced about an hour before the story ends, but he's treated as this super important character that's like been foreshadowed and stuff. And then he shows up, he gets his Flaby back, and then he's like, it's been a thousand years, and that was like a meme for a long time. Yeah, I remember that. And then, uh, when you beat the Team Flare leader, he gets so pissed off that he takes his space laser that he was gonna shoot somewhere, I don't remember. He was gonna shoot it somewhere else, but now he's decided to just, he's gonna blow everyone up inside of his own station. <laughs> And also the uh, the headquarters is like in the is underground in some town. He does this. He like aims a laser towards the town, and everyone is like, "Oh my god, we got to get out of here!" So they run out of the town. They run like three squares away from the town. There's a fucking nuclear explosion, and then they walk back into town. Like, phew, that was close. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nothing's changed. I don't remember if the leader of Team Flare is seen after that cutscene again. He probably just gets arrested or something lame. I think the most interesting thing about Team Flare is that one of the Elite Four members is part of Team Flare, and they're also, like, a newscaster. And they're actually pissed off at you for foiling Team Flare's plans. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool, but not worth the rest of the story being so ungodly nothing. Is that like the only time any Elite Four person has had relevance to the story? Do you not count the champion? Because usually the champion is like involved in the plot. Yeah, no, just specifically Elite Four. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's always the champion because it's like Gary in Gen 1 is always harassing you. Lance in Gen 2 helps you in a, a couple points. You encounter... uh Steven a couple of times in this game, and then Cynthia's all over the place. This specifically Gen 3 does not have really any villains in any form that are extremely imposing. The, the biggest threat is like the legendaries, but they're just like giant rectangles that just <laughs> you kill them. And you go up the sky tower and immediately like get Rayquaza to make their cut it out. Yeah, and the villain team leaders of Magma and Akor barely exist. Yeah, Team Aqua and Magma are so, like, hilariously incompetent, it's hard to take the story seriously. Especially Aqua, like, what the fuck do you mean that the world <laughs> needs more water? I can kind of understand where Team Magma's coming from. Yeah. They're the team, more reasonable, if anything. The, all the Team Magma leader needed to say to me is... How, how many fucking times does it say da 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 do da da do 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 <laughs> Don't you want to not do that anymore? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's fair. Come on, kill him. I guess that's actually a... Kill him. Oh, no. I found that short sequence kind of neat where you wake up Groudon and it's all creepy for a bit. Yeah, that that is definitely the most interesting part of the story is... When the uh, how the fuck did I miss a three percent chance on this dude again? <laughs> Is this like seated? What the fuck? Ah, I have not missed with sleep powder a single time up to now. You just stand in a different place when you talk to him to reset the seat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Supersonic didn't miss twice in a row at least, so that's fucking good. Please hit yourself. No. Come on! <laughs> Please hit yourself. Thank you. I don't even care if it doesn't do that much damage, I just need him to not do something for one turn. The Butterfree is called Ferris because that's what it's vulnerable to. <laughs> this fucking thing probably has a... Berry, too, because all of his other fucking Pokemon have goddamn citrus berries. No, it's Supersonic Me! Irony at its finest. This is the stupidest battle. Yeah, how long has this been going on? It's just two crippled people in wheelchairs just, like, hitting each other with sticks. Snap out of your confusion, you stupid bug! Ugh! God damn it. Ah, oh, that's so demoralizing. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. No! That's the first actual hit the opponent has done on me. <laughs> Please confuse it. Dang. Okay, I'll take Sonic Boom, that's fine. Can I just sneak Ferris another <laughs> Cherry Berry? Can we just, like, look the other way for a second? <laughs> How dare you even suggest such a thing? Also, I mean, you cheated before to get that Abra. It's not like there's an impurity <laughs> to this run. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It itself. No, don't kill me. Please. Are you dead yet? Failed attempts take so long. This feels like this should be really simple. You just put everybody to sleep and then win. It should be that simple. 
problem is that I still am kind of weak. Or these guys just have really high special defense. Oh my god. Pay yourself. <sighs> Nick Brawl 2 tw tweet, Twitter tweet, tweeted about... <laughs> they were like, you want, you want a detailed patch notes? Check out these 81 pages of patch notes. Good lord. And I was like, it feels like a lot of patch notes shouldn't be something you should boast about. <laughs> yeah, like, look how broken our game was at launch. I think they're just trying to slam dunk on Smash for not having good patch notes, but in the process they become hoisted by their own petard. I mean, Nintendo's the outlier when it comes to patch note fuckery. It's not yeah. like they're like, unlike most of our competitors, we actually care about patch notes. Yeah. Like, you're only fooling yourself, really. Hit yourself in confusion, you goddamn oh, asshole. What the fuck? hell? <sighs> I hate this game. Both of these games I hate. Whoops. Just reset fucking. The fuck just happened? <laughs> I just reset fucking Discord. I didn't know you could do that. How? Just Control R. The fact that so much of my my win conditions in this fight are based on luck is really sad. I don't even know how many TMs are in this game. I think fifty. I think it was always fifty up to Gen Five, where they made it like ninety. And now there's hundreds of them. I just figured every move had a TM for some reason. Definitely not. As cool as that would be, I wouldn't really bother with a Leer TM. I cannot get these fucking people to hit themselves in confusion when it really matters. Do it! Fuck you. Oh my god. The Pokemon card game is just... Uh... Like... You play a billion cards in one turn, and then the other person just sits there. <laughs> I, I was playing the uh, trading card game on the Game Boy emulator. First of all, it's hard to look at. Second of all, Arizona was over here. He was like, ew, what's with the card art? And they actually did, like, yeah, they pretty faithfully pixel art the of actual Pokemon cards. Yeah, there was a couple of cards I saw. I was like, "Wait a minute, I have that card like in real life." All right, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing because I'm fucking pissed off now. <laughs> I, I'm playing Sunshine. I'm trying to get to the Chuckster level to see if I could beat the Chuckster level before you beat this fight. But you can't even get to it. But I'm I'm on the thing where you have to cool down the big giant chain chum and pull him into the water. But it it sucks. Jackson, fucking I don't know how to... sucks. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but Sunshine sucks. I disagree. However, most of the stages are annoying. I'm surprised you even remember where the Chuckster level is. Why wouldn't I? Because all, I mean, for me, all of the hidden levels, all the, like, secret places just bleed together. I couldn't place I know one in a different well. area. Or, uh, I would say I know this game pretty well. What's the secret? The secret is the Chuckster level, isn't it? No, I mean... <laughs> how do you fucking get this <laughs> chain from the fucking thing? God, you fuckers and your Magnemites. Magnemite is now my least favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Weird. Okay, I guess confusion luck is just down all around, because I just got confused and I didn't even hit myself. <laughs> I did it. You made that noise as soon as Butterfree hit itself in confusion, so I was like, whoa. <laughs> New move. If you hit yourself in confusion again... Oh my god, I'm fucking pissed. You just... I'm sick of looking at myself punching myself in the head. At least give me a gun so it can be done faster. Are there only two electric types in this game? You only have Voltorbs and Magnemites. At least use an Electrike sometime. Why do you have a level 6 Voltorb? What is wrong with you people? Oh, level 14 Magnemite. Wow, what a surprise. Aha. Okay, I'm at the Chuckster level. Although I guess you're not even on that gym fight anymore, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, you can still count me as being part of it, at least. <laughs> like, I'm still attempting. Your bike skills border on terrifying. How about eat my ass? I'm also like three shines away from just beating the game, so I'll, we can also include that. <laughs> 
see who what happens first, whether I beat this <laughs> game or whether you... Or whether I beat the gym or you beat the game. Maybe I can use all of them. Wait, what? Oh, because it increases your... EVs? Yep, the, uh... The medicine... I don't, rem I don't know how they work in Gens 1 and 2 where you can max out all your stats, but... In Gen 3 and on, it just gives you 8 EVs in whatever stat. Why do you slow down after going past that guy? I've always wondered that. This is all just for TM, like, Christ. <laughs> that we don't even know may, may or may not exist. <laughs> yeah. At least I got rid of all my money, so if I want to farm on off of his Pokemon, I won't be losing anything. Oh, it doesn't tell you what is this fucking game. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll go in numeric. Does it list them in numerical order? Yes. On Butterfree? So, okay. so 32 is double team, which is learnable. I'm not going to do evasion stuff. That's just cheap. 29 is psychic, which is learnable. What? Psychic? Oh, yes. shit. Well, I, gotta, I probably should get that one then. What, there's no hidden coins on the ground like in the first game? That's like half of the hidden items in Gen 1 is coins on the floor of the gambling hall. <laughs> okay, I got the Chuckster Star. <laughs> Congrats, me. Game's gonna be normal or lucky. This is determined at random when the player begins playing. A 50% chance, but it can be modified by two different events. If the player matches three blue sevens, the game will become lucky. This is all for slot machines, I'm reading. Right. If the player matches three red sevens, the game will become normal. Normal boots. It is possible to tell whether or not the player is in a lucky game by noticing the initial positions of the reels. Straight red 7s indicating a normal game and straight blue 7s indicating a lucky game. It doesn't say what lucky means. What? 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 What's all this? Did I win? <laughs> Did, was that good? Okay. It's a hit! It, uh, I can't even describe what just happened because I'm... S I'm confused about it myself. Ooh, I won. I got six. Okay, if you do that 500 times. <laughs> Wait, you can buy coins. Yeah, but I have no money. Oh. Because okay. I just spent it all. The ROM hack Pokemon Crystal Clear, it rigs the slot machines in your favor so much, I don't, I question why there's even a slot machine at all. Like, it might as well just give you maximum infinite coins. I'm 13 levels ahead of this thing and I still can't beat it. Uh, I'm starting to think this game was built for more than one Pokemon at a time in mind. I don't know why you would think that. Oh my god, that is with the misses. I hate Thunder Wave. 100% accuracy, my fucking dickhole. Is it really? Yes. That's annoying. Yes. You should get that. I wish Butterfree could learn Thunder Wave. Oh my god. Fuck you. Hit yourself a confusion. No, of course not. Why would it do that? <laughs> now I gotta bring out the big guns. <laughs> if this thing kills itself off confusion... Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm going to be so actually mad. Wait, is this the last guy? Yeah. Fucking kill it! Mm. You asshole, what are you doing? Doing supersonic, just use shockwave and kill it instantly! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why is there like a purple speck here? Where? Right. Oh, yeah, there is. It's on the other side, too. Do they like not transparency layer it correctly? So now what? Uh, now I'm gonna use... I'll switch things up. I'll try uh, giving the Twisted Spoon and using this rare candy to get me to level 36. Okay. Just need better luck. I really do. Like, my. I, I seriously can't believe my confusion luck. These fuckers don't hit themselves in confusion at all. Oh my god, he actually did it. Wow. Fucking shock. Well, okay, I'm paralyzed anyways. It doesn't matter what I chose. Okay, snap out of confusion after two turns. Eat my fucking ass. Hit yourself in confusion, why don't you? Oh shit, he actually did it. <laughs> it's so. so weak. Ugh. You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? Well, you haven't gotten past this one! And he, like, bonks the wall and it reveals, like, a rigged shotgun. <laughs> Blows you away. 
Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> just fucking gym leader, the Unabomber. <laughs> All the other gyms are about type effectiveness. How about I just fucking shoot you right now? <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> this sucks so bad. <laughs> it's always, every time I look over, it's the same thing. I'm just doing, I'm just, I, all I can do is the same strategy over and over until the RNG favors me. Well, that's fantastic. Like, literally, the, there, I have two strategies. I can either mindlessly grind forever for Psychic TM, or mindlessly grind forever for, for just levels. <laughs>